Hi guys and welcome to our latest kitchen project. We are here in North London. I'm really excited to get into this one with you. But before we do, as always, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel and let us know in the comments if there's anything in future that you want to see specifically. So as you can see behind me, we have some incredible ceiling height that we've had to work with here. So the, one of the first things you're gonna notice rather than the island in this kitchen are the huge ceiling heights, but what we've done to, uh, to sort of accommodate the ceiling height. So we have the first tall run of units here. We've got what is already a tall door. I think that's a 2.5 door. And then above this, we've added a top box on top of this. There must be 3.2 meter ceilings here. Um, and so that is extra usable storage above what is the fridge here. So this is a normal 600 wide fridge, storage above, and then another top box above that. And then side by side, another tall door. This is a larder. So we've got five Legra box, stainless steel sided, glass fronted draw boxes for all of the kids' sweets and chocolate and cereals, etc. One feature I do want to point out before we get into it, because it's a running theme throughout this kitchen, is whilst we have this lovely slab cashmere grey uh, frontage, uh, we have sandwiched in between here a lovely bronze um, metallic accent, and that carries through the whole kitchen. So you can see it runs up the side, top, down and all the way through. So usually in a handleless kitchen, we'll have this handle pull rail. This kitchen actually does have handles. So this is a purely aesthetic feature to make it look really nice. In terms of the island, we'll go back to what we usually discuss. We have this stunning Decton stone. This is called Trillium. It looks like a rusted bit of old metal. Um, 50 mil worktops, so it's a built up edge. Porcelain worktops are super, super practical, very hard wearing. They're scratch resistant, heat resistant, stain resistant. So amazing for a heavily used kitchen. And this is a kosher kitchen. So this is the milky section on the island. So we have a two ring Siemens induction hob. Uh, they're flex induction rings, so it can either be two separate rings or one large flex zone. And under here we have the milky cutlery. So all separated nicely in utensils and cutlery here plates and bowls below and below that as well. Coming round onto the island, the next section is a lovely 900 wide Smeg oven. And this is basically as close to a commercial grade storage oven as you can get. It's really, really practical, amazing for someone that hosts and cooks a lot. And then finally, on the milky side, we have another bit of storage at low level here, and then your milky sink. And that is just a normal matte black mixer tap that has a pull out spray feature as well. The, the sinks are Blanco, this is a sill granite, so it's a black sink blending in with the colour of the worktops. Onto this side of the kitchen, we have a dishwasher, or your first dishwasher, sink unit. This is the Kuka Pro 3 Flex, so you've got your normal boiling water on tap there. And this also has your normal hot and cold water and a pull-out spray feature as well. Above here, again, because we have such lovely ceiling height to play with, we've got this beautifully portioned wall units. These are really lovely and tall, you can see here, I mean, unbelievable height and amazing extra storage. And these wall units are all in this bronze color to match the trim that's running around elsewhere and also the handles. So more of this Decton Trillium coming through, full cladding, so from the worktop to the underside of the wall units. Uh, we have recessed the extractor behind these wall units, again, as we normally do. So we've boxed in the ducting and we have this panel, again, which you can take off if it, the extractor ever needs servicing. And then this is your Siemens, your meat, the, uh, the meaty section. So we've got a five ring Siemens induction hobs, the studio line hob, drawers underneath, again, cutlery and utensil divided, nice and neat, and then more storage for drawers below. Coming round into the corner to maximise the space and the storage into the corner, we've gone for a Le Mans corner here. So this is your two trays, swivels out and makes full use of that corner. You see here, there's loads of prep space on, on, in this section here, coming into the corner. This is your third sink, so again, the same Blanco sink. Uh, drawers coming into this corner here, slightly deeper drawers, three external drawers, nice configuration, sink unit, and then you've got your second dishwasher here. As I mentioned, finger pull trim running all the way up and round. And these are your ovens, so two single Neff ovens, slightly different to usual. These are the slide and hide models. So as you can see, the door opens and then retracts on itself means that you can keep a nice eye on stuff that you're baking or grilling, etc. I think it's a really cool feature. We don't get to do them too often, but uh, this client specifically wanted them. So there you go. And then finally finishing off, we've got a 600 wide freezer, uh, Lee pair model, a little bit of storage above, six drawers, and then the top boxes above there, again, to sort of maximise this ceiling height. That's it for today, guys. I hope you've enjoyed the episode. Stay tuned for the next time.